Hello, I'm Judith House and today I'm at the National Library of Scotland, based in Edinburgh, delving deep into the heritage of Collins Bartholomew maps. Much of the work we see today um, in the mapping that we use all over the world is underpinned by much of the work carried out by the Bartholomew family business, which was established in Edinburgh in the 1820s. Today I'm going to be talking to Mick Ashworth and Chris Fleet to find out a bit more about it. It began very much in Edinburgh, uh, but over the course of two centuries it changed quite dramatically. So in the very early 19th century, the early Bartholomews were very much engravers working for other people. And over time they grew to become more established in engraving maps. And printing really in colour came later on in the 19th century. But by the 19th century, Bartholomew as a company was still producing a range of things for other people that were not maps, and also maps for other publications. And they, they then shifted into the 20th century to become very much a map publisher in their own right. Throughout the time of the Bartholomew's techniques and, and technologies have changed immensely. And it, but it was only through the, the reign of uh, John George over the family empire, really, that the real specialism in mapping developed. And he established what became known as the Edinburgh Geographical Institute, which is really a very specialised map production and geographical research agency. Uh, from the 1820s right up to the 1970s, Bartholomew were engraving maps on copper. This was a very skilled task with, with people engraving fine, very fine line work and beautiful lettering directly onto copper plates in reverse. But by the late 19th century, Bartholomew perfected a combination technique of using copper plate engraving for giving a very sharp black line work mm -hmm. and very well-developed aesthetics for colour lithography. And combining the two together gave a winning combination in a range of publications. Particularly through that time, they established a very distinctive look to their maps in using a very distinctive layer colouring system to represent height of land and this layer colouring or hypsometric tinting as it was called was really invented if you like and certainly developed by the Bartholomews and became a very distinctive feature of their, their atlas products and sheet map products. In the 20th century I think there was innovation very much in terms of new printing uh, presses and also in terms of using photo uh, lithography rather than using the traditional limestone stones and from the 1970s uh, a move towards using digital technologies as well. Maps are created from digital databases and the files from those databases feed almost directly to a printer and he generates a printing plate directly from that information. So the changes in, te in printing technology have been huge but there's also been a, an adoption of technologies as the Bartholomew's uh, carried out their business, they were very, very quick to ad adapt new technologies and very open to new techniques, and that's continued right up to the current day. But I think Collins Bartholomew still base a lot of their, their work on the strengths of Bartholomew in terms of colour, aesthetics and accuracy. And I think the network for gathering information that uh, John George Bartholomew established in the late 19th century of trying to gain information from people out there who would send in information in terms of updates and corrections. It's still very much alive in trying to, to get the very most up-to-date information on the map, whatever the map. Yeah, I think John George was guided by higher ideals, very much a belief that cartography could make the world a better place, that maps and people's knowledge through maps of the world around them could lead towards better decisions and a, a more enlightened age. And those principles, I think, were reflected in what he did, but also in the members of the firm and also his successors. And he managed to combine very attractive layer coloring with very fine line work, and I think a very canny understanding of the market. Um, certainly John George Bartholomew had a huge influence um, throughout Edinburgh and the nation really, they became the cartographers of, of choice for publishers and for explorers and so on. He was appointed cartographer of the King during that period. He was a founder member of the Royal Scottish Geographical Society. He was a huge uh, mover and shaker, if you like, in terms of cartography mm -hmm. through that time. And I think that gave Bartholomew a great status as a, a reputation as being a very high quality cartographer, whilst at the same time being a successful business.
But I think that the environment of Edinburgh, in terms of printing and publishing, and it being very much a world center for that at the time, was very important in giving Bartholomew the catalyst that led to them becoming the great company they were. By the late 19th century, John George's survey Atlas of Scotland very much put Scotland on the map. But he went on to crown that with a survey atlas of England and Wales in the 1900s, and then the survey atlas of the world that was very much the, the first time survey atlas of the world with Bartholomew uh, doing the maps by the 1920s. And I think those times atlases continued, but Bartholomew had a range of other key publications in terms of maps for the leisure market, for the emerging cycling and motoring markets, and also for railway companies in the, the late 19th century through to the mid 20th century that provided big business for Bartholomew and they were very much uh, the, the niche providers for specialist markets like that as well. They, they borrow a lot from the heritage and the, the techniques that have been used and the importance that's put on the authority of the map. But the use of colour, the use of detail, the authority of the information and so on are some of the key factors I think that have, that have just continued going throughout Bartholomew heritage and continue today.